How did you respond to life's greatest interruption? We all go through a form of interruption here or there. But how we respond is what determines whether we will remain in the will of God or we will walk out of God's will. Last week we looked at interrupted and we focused on the life of Mary. Today I would like us to look at the life of Joseph who was equally interrupted. Now, reading from Matthew's Gospel in Matthew chapter 1, the Bible says, verse 18, this is how Jesus the Messiah was born. His mother, Mary, was engaged to be married to Joseph. But before the marriage took place, while she was still a virgin, she became pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her fiancé, was a good man and did not want to disgrace her publicly, so he decided to break the engagement quietly. As he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, son of David, the angel said, Do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child within her was conceived by the Holy Spirit. And she will have a son, and you are to name him Jesus, and he will save his people from their sins. All this occurred to fulfill the Lord's message through his prophet. Verse 24, when Joseph woke up, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded and took Mary as his wife. But he did not have sexual relations with her until her son was born and Joseph named him Jesus. Could it be that from Luke's account, comparing with Matthew's account, is there a possibility that Mary never disclosed this angelic visitation to Joseph? Could it be that Joseph just got to learn that his fiancée was pregnant and he probably thought she must have been unfaithful. Or could it be that Mary had tried to explain to him but Joseph could not just wrap his head around the immaculate conception. This concept was way beyond his ability to comprehend. Could it be? Because in Matthew's Gospel, we find that when he got to learn that she was pregnant, he decided, being the dignified man that he was, to break off the engagement but do it quietly because he did not want to embarrass her. But then the angel spoke. Now for Joseph, his interruption was twofold. His plans were interrupted when he got to learn of his fiancée's pregnancy and his plans were thrown into disarray. I can imagine the shame. I can imagine the confusion. I can imagine the stories. I can imagine the talk and the rumor in Nazareth of this teenage girl who everybody thought was God-fearing, but had become pregnant. But again the angel interrupts his confusion. You see, last time we said that there are times that God interrupts our plans to align us to his plan and purposes. But today, allow me to share with us that there are times God interrupts our plans to clear the confusion in our minds. Joseph was very confused and very disturbed. But it took an angelic interception to clear the confusion. So not every interruption that comes our way is designed to derail us or to discourage us. Some interruptions come to clear the path, to clear confusion from our path and from our minds. When Joseph woke up from this dream with a sense of clarity, the Bible tells us he took Mary as his wife. He obeyed what the Lord had told him. So when God speaks to you through a word, either a prophetic word, a verse of scripture, or a thought, however God speaks to you, maybe through a dream, and he clears the confusion, it is important that for you to remain in the heart and the center of God's will that you follow through with obedience. Because when Joseph followed through with obedience, he realized God had a bigger and better plan for him. It was such a joy and an honor for him to be the foster father of Jesus, the Messiah. See, this is a plan 
that had been set into motion from eternity past and was being revealed in his very eyes. That interruption did not just happen overnight. It happened time in eternity and is just being revealed and it's for you and I to align ourselves with the plan because God has a great plan for you. Enjoy your interruption because when you know God is in the midst of the interruption, you can sit pretty, you can lie low and enjoy your life because you know God is up to something good. My name is Patrick Kuchir from System Church Online. Enjoy your Christmas break and enjoy whatever disruptions that God has allowed to come your way because some disruptions come to clear the confusion from our path and from our heads. The Lord bless you richly and have a great week. Amen.